everyone welcome back to our youtube channel test prep card today we have picked one of the frequently asked questions on our website which is related to the chemistry well basically it's a chemistry question and in this question we will discuss about how you can find the normality of concentrated h2so4 well basically this is the question the normality of concentrated h2so4 is so basically we have to find the normality well it's not a, a very tough question but uh, somehow some of the students will find difficulty while they are actually finding the normality of a concentrated H2SO4 or any other chemical compound. So I will tell you in this question like how you can find the normality of any chemical compound not just the H2SO4. So we will start. So well we have some Actually, while you are finding the normality of a chemical compound, you will require some of the, you know, quantities or we can say some of the values like the gravity value, okay, which is 1.84, the equivalent weight of H2SO4, which is 49.04 okay and the purity of h2so4 so these are the things that you are required while you are finding the normality of a chemical compound okay and the formula of normality of a chemical compound let's say we have h2so4 in this case situation the gravity of H2SO4 multiplied with purity of H2SO4 into 1000 and it is divided by the chemical oh sorry the equivalent weight of the chemical compound here we have H2SO4 into 100. So without any further delay let's put all these values here in this formula and find the normality of concentrated H2SO4. Okay, so the normality of H2SO4 is 1.84 into 98 into 1000 upon 49.04 into 100. And if we solve this further, then we have the value is 36.8. So this is the normality of H2SO4. Hope you guys now able to find the normality of any other chemical compound, not just the H2SO4. Okay. And for more interesting questions like this, stay tuned to our channel, channel test prep card. And please share this video with your friends too. If they are finding difficulty, finding difficulty like how they can find the normality of a chemical compound. Okay. Thank you.